Hey, what is going on guys? Rudelanel here, come back at you with another batch tutorial. Alright, let's get the Windows command line ready to roll, and let's get Notepad++ ready to roll. Okay. Now, in the last video, we've been taking a look at something called the if statement, and what that allowed us to do was to sort of supply like a condition. It would, uh, it would only run code if a specific condition was met, if something equaled something or if uh, you really, there are a whole lot of other cases you can create here because you can supply what we like to call testing operators or comparison operators. Like when we were using those two equal signs inside of our if condition, we were t saying if something is equal to something. Now there are a whole lot of other ones. We could test if something is less than something, if something is less than or equal to something, if something is greater than something, if something is greater than or equal to something, or if something is not something entirely. There are a whole lot of things we could kind of throw into our little if statement here today. And that's what we're exactly what we're going to be checking out. So I'm going to create a new script. Save mine. Script.bat. Okay. Now add echo off. Go to main. Create main. Go to our go to our end of file, not goot. Okay. And I'll get a, a little if statement started, but really we're going to want some variables first. Now I'm going to use the same example I used in the last video. Food can equal 10. And uh, set a needed food can equal 50. Yeah, let's change food to 50 to begin with. So if we do a conditional statement, if food is equal to, remember we're going to be using two equal signs, if food is equal to needed food, and we're using the value of each variable, we can echo out, echo, we have enough food. Before we do that, I want to display some nice stuff on the screen. Okay, now if we actually ran our script, changing it back to uh, back to the command line, run script, hello, we have enough food, and then goodbye. Now remember, just as a little review from the last video, food is equal to 50, and so is needed food. So these two are equal. So when we're testing for the value of food, which is 50, if it's equal to the value of needed food, which is 50, we can run the code that's inside this little code block here, inside our little parentheses, our grouped commands. Now, uh, it's going to go ahead and display, we have enough food. So what if we change needed food to like 55, though? It'll just go ahead and skip right on through the, uh, the code that we would be running. Now, let's take a look at the, uh, the help file for the if statement and see if there's anything new we can learn. If we take a look at help, if, we can, uh, we can see there's not, we're going to be taking a look at that one today, specifies the window should carry out the command only if the condition is false. Okay, so let's try and work with that later on. And uh, now we have some comparison operators that we're going to be looking at right over here. Equal, not equal, less than, less than or equal, greater than or equal, and greater than. Now, I'm sure you remember me rambling those off in the very beginning of the video. And we have a little bit of a small little, small little string or sort of like a little keyword that we can supply that will actually change the way if will run. So let's go ahead and try this out. First, we'll take a look at not, because remember, food is equal to 50 and needed food is equal to 55. So if we supplied not right in front of our condition, food is equal to 50 and needed food is equal to 55, and we're testing if these two are equal. That's our condition, but we supplied the not keyword. So it'll invert or sort of like change back our, our, uh, our command here. It's only going to do this if something is not true. So we do not have enough food. So let's go ahead and run this. Clear the screen for now. Run script and says, hello, we do not have enough food. Goodbye. Okay. Now, now we can look at some of the other comparison operators you, we've, we've, uh, we've looked at. So if we look at help if again. Equal, not equal. Okay, we can take a look at equal because we've practically already done that. And get our little... Uh, EQU, that's what we were looking at right now. If we change it to, we do have enough food. I'll change this back to 50, so it should run perfectly fine. Hello, we do have enough food, and then goodbye. Now if we change this to what the one was for not equal, which we just took a look at, NEQ. Now you can remember that it'll just skip right on through. 
But if we change this... Hello, we do have enough food, but it should be we do not have enough food. That's my own fault, sorry guys. Hello, we do not have enough food, and we're using the not equal comparison operator, remember? So, uh, that sort of thing. Now, if we move back on over to some of the other testing operators that we're looking at, we have uh, less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. So let's give those a go. I actually don't even remember what those keywords were. I just looked at them and breezed right on by. Okay, LSS, that's what we can look for. So let's try that. Let's use 50 and then LSS. Now that food is 40 and needed food is 55, obviously 40 is still less than 55, so it's still going to be able to tell us we do not have enough food. Every one script says we don't have enough food because we still don't. 40 is less than 55, and our condition is mirroring that as well. If we change it to less than or equal, LEQ, we can set food to be 55. We have enough food because they are equal, so we want to be able to let them know, that, yeah, we've got enough. Run script, we have enough food. Now, But now we've changed our comparison operator to less than or equal to. Okay, now we can change it with uh, greater, GTR. Let's change food to like 100. We have more than enough food. And what do you think this will output? We have more than enough food because we have 100 pieces of food and we only need 55. So obviously, since it's greater, we have plenty. Now we can change this to GEQ, which is, remember, is greater than or equal to, but we're still going to be looking at the greater side of things because 100 is uh, it's greater than 55. So we have more than enough food in that case, but if we change it back to 55, it'll still run, but we only have, we have enough food. We have enough food. See? See what's happening here? So we have some comparison operators we can do and actually use that'll change the way if we'll actually run and execute. We have some little switches, some little, little command line parameters that we can throw into that statement and we can actually change the way if works. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with this in some other cases, like usually you'll have equals, is equal to, not equal to, uh, less than or equal to, less than, greater than, greater than or equal to, and that's normally the way it'll look in other languages. Batch does not support that. Maybe they do, maybe I could be completely wrong, but the help file offers these switches right here. So, uh, I recommend that you use these. I know it's a little ugly, and I mean, it looks different from the way you would normally be able to see an if statement in any other language, but, hey, it's Batch. <laughs> okay, so, uh, I'll kill these, and now we've got some new stuff here. Thank you guys for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed this. I kind of breezed through them, but I think they're pretty easy to understand. If something is greater than or something, if something is less than something, you get the idea. I'm sure it's easy to understand if I... And if I, if you guys don't understand, this idea, this, this fundamental concept of if statements and testing operators is in a whole lot of other languages. So if you want to check out some of my other tutorials, like the Python tutorial series, you can see the same exact concept being explained. And I think it's actually Python uh, video 15, testing operators. And, uh, you know, you can see this in Batch and many other languages. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.